Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very first AI chatbot. This is going to be a chatbot set up on the web chat channel. Reason being is it's a very easy to set up channel where we can test, train and preview our chatbot. Then once we have everything down, we can then connect the other channels such as Messenger, Instagram, etc. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. As you can see, I'm here on the Chapabilla AI website. The first thing I'm going to do is click on sign up. The default channel that is going to be presented to us is the web chat. Over here under chatbot name, I'm simply going to say my first AI chatbot. I'm going to click continue. As you can see, we're here in the analytics tab of the Chapabilla AI dashboard. Now we want to first head over to settings, the bottom here. Then in general, we're going to set some things up. The first thing we want to do is target country and set that to Fiji, because that's where I currently am from. Then default language is English. That's fine. Account time zone is fine as well. Brand color is okay. And I'm going to click save. Once I've clicked save in the top right hand corner, I want to come down where it says change account logo. Click this, click this again, select my image and click save. As you can see, it's updated my logo at the top left hand corner. Now for default flow, we're going to leave this as is. When we select a default flow from here, it is only for when we have set up our default reply to be in the flow section. We will not do this for this video. For this video, we're going to head on over to integrations. You want to scroll down to OpenAI and by default, this is turned on the default agent. Every single account in Chapabilla AI is already connected to an API key for GPT-4 or Mini. Now, all you got to do is click on Edit, and here you will provide the instructions. Now, I already have my instructions so that we don't have to waste any time on that. And I'm just going to simply paste this in. I'm going to start off with, you are James, a helpful assistant. Please, for customers reaching out to the stake Haven Restaurant. There we go. And we'll just paste in the information. Now for functions, we'll leave it as is. Under more options, you can see we're already going to GPT-4 or Mini. And for temperature, the higher it is, the more random it will be. So I like to have that at a 0 0.20. Make some output token. It's fine the way it is currently. So if you find that your text is being cut off, you can increase this. I'm actually going to put it to 2000 and click continue. Amazing. That is your default reply setup through integrations, open AI. Now we want to head over to flows. In flows, we already have pre-made templates for you for web chat. We also have on the starter template, several different flows already pre-made for you to go through. The welcome message audio, default reply plus timer, etc. We actually have a playlist for these. You can find it down below in the description. For this though, we're simply going to click on the welcome message flow right here. This flow is what will generate the first response to the customer interacting with your chatbot. Now you can simply click on generate welcome message, click on open AI, and here is where you would give the instructions. So for this instance, I will say you are a helpful assistant. Your job, your job is to greet the user to Stake Haven Restaurant. For user message, you're going to leave this as is. This is the custom field. This cuff right here, last input, is actually what contains the first response. And we won't need it for the welcome message reading. Now for user message, we can leave it as is. Now we want to save it to a custom field, the output, right? So the chatbot knows who it is and what it needs to do. Once it generates a response, it needs to save that response into a cuff. We have welcome message cuff right here, and you can add a new one with your own name for it, should you need to. So response saved to a custom field named welcome message. We can leave functions as is. We can leave everything else as is. Simply click continue. And in the second node right here is where the actual cuff is, the welcome underscore message. This is what will contain the output from OpenAI, the greeting pretty much to the user. Now, if you remove this and enter in text, then that is what the user will see as the output. 
from the welcome message. So we'll leave this the way it is right now. We'll click publish and then simply click preview at the bottom here and select web chat. As you can see, the first response is welcome to Steak Haven Restaurant. We're delighted to have you here. How can I assist you today? And the very first thing I want to ask are the opening hours. What are your opening hours? Now, in my text, in my information, the operation hours are from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., Monday to Sunday. As you can see, it's printed out. Steak Haven is open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., seven days a week, including Mondays to Sundays. Another one I can ask is, what is your location? Now, the location is 789 Carnival Street, Metropolis. <laughs> and this is, of course, made up information. This is just for demo purposes. But if I ask the question on what is your location, it will give me the correct information, which is Steak Haven is located at 789 Carnival Street, Metropolis, TX75001. And there you have it. Now, do not forget that you now have an extremely intelligent AI chatbot that is referencing information that you've given it to respond in a certain tone of voice. You can even have it programmed for your own tone of voice, for your business, friendly. Uh, if it's a funny place where you actually roast people, you can have it roast people as it's giving information out. But what's really impressive is that this is also multilingual. And so there is no additional programming needed for that. I can simply ask a question like, what is your location, but in German. And so I'll just copy this. And it simply is, was ist ihr Standort? I'm going to click enter. It's being sent. I've made no changes. I've given no instructions whatsoever. And it already answers in German. Steak Haven befindet sich in der Carnival Street 789 Metropolis. And I know that's correct because I do speak German. And it's also very obvious that this is the right information. But just like that, you have a multilingual, intelligent AI chatbot that is speaking to your customers based on the information it's been provided. And we did this in only a few minutes. Now with that, my name is Asta. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.